Hey guys, Mr. B here, giving you a uh, another video on this one on quadratic word problems. Um, so if you remember me, I mentioned a few things, excuse me, in class about quadratic word problems, and they were recognizing keywords, and so you, so you knew what you had to do. Um, if you see the words max, min, least, greatest. You know you're looking for the vertex. All right, so that means x is equal to negative b over 2a, axis of symmetry, or completing the square. So you're looking for one of those two things. Now, if you don't see that, um, everything else, then chances are you're looking at uh, roots. All right, so I'm going to give you a couple of those examples. They're a little bit harder to pick out when you have to find the roots, um, but just try and recognize the absence of these words. In order to be a max-min problem, there has to be a mention of, you know, find the maximum values or the greatest area or something like that. All right, so really try to key in on that when you're doing these type of problems. So let's look at one. So this is a photograph and... Uh, a photograph 8 by 11, so you see it's given here, 8 by 11, uh, will be framed as shown in the diagram. The combined area of the photograph and the frame is 180 centimeters squared. So algebraically determine the outside dimensions or algebraic determine the values of x. So that's kind of the key that you got to find x in this case. You sort of got to find x and not like a maximum area. So actually the entire area of this thing, like the entire area is 180 centimeters. But you can also find some dimensions for the outside area. So if you look here, those values are x. So the outside dimension here is going to be x plus x, because it's on both sides, so 2x. And then the inside here, plus 11. And the outside is going to be, again, 2x, and this time it's just going to be plus 8. So these x plus x. So now we know, we know the area of a rectangle is length times width, so 2x plus 11, 2x plus 8 is equal to, when you multiply them together, the photograph total area is 180. So now I just need to do FOIL method here, or distribution, and uh, find this guy. So it's going to be 4x squared plus 16x plus 22x. Uh, I'm just going to take that at plus 88. Sorry, I almost forgot that is equal to 180. 4x squared. I'm just going to add these two together, so that's going to be plus 38. And then 88, 38, 88 minus 180 is equal to 0. So that's going to be 4x squared plus 38x. 88, so that's going to be minus 92 is equal to 0. So this is my quadratic now that I need to solve in order to find that width. So again, quadratic formula. x is equal to negative 38 plus or minus the square root of 38 squared minus 4. a is 4. c is negative 92 all over 2a. So I don't have a good calculator here, so 4 times 4 times 16 times 92. It's 142. So let me just um, 1,000. 1,472. Let's do 38 squared. 144, 1444, plus 1742, 2916. Alrighty, so that's going to be 8. You add these two together, so plus or minus, I forget it, 2916, sorry, 2916 divided by 8. Now let's take the square root of that number. Hopefully it's a perfect square. 
Oh, of course they don't have it. So let me take, um, let me see. I should have known that. Let's go 45 times 45. Too big. 44 times 44. Oh, it's way bigger than 45. Sorry. 52 times 52. 53 times 53. So 54 times 54, that was a pathetic display of mental math. Plus 54, plus or minus 54. Um, so yeah, if you have a calculator, just take the square root of it instead of making yourself look like a fool. All right, so um, now we just got to do the math on this. We're not interested. Well, let's, let's work it out anyway. So 38 minus 54 all over 8. And then we're going to have... Let's see, negative 58 plus 54 all over 8. So let's see, negative 38, subtract 54, divided by 8. So that's negative 11.5. And we're hoping for a good number here, and 38 negative plus 54, and it works out beautifully. 16 divided by 8 is 2. All right, so that simply means that x equals 2. This is extraneous, as they call it, or reject. x equals 2. That is our solution. So let's check it and see. So that means that this width over here that's 2, then this is going to be um, 12, and that's going to be 15. So 15 times 12 hopefully gives us 180. Let's see. 15 times 12, bada boom, 180. So we're done. Um, so that means the width of the outside frame is 2. But the biggest thing about this question is this guy. All right, from here on out, just algebra and hopefully you're better at mental math than I am alrighty a rectangular swimming pool has a length and width of 20 there's a deck of uniform width surrounding the pool the area of the pool is the same the area of the pool is the same as the area of the deck so this is the pool this deck here uh, outside around is the same so whatever this area here is it's the same as this one so let's write the dimensions first. So the dimensions are going to be this guy is 2x plus 30. This is 2x plus 20. Now this plus this, so this guy here has a, a dimension, an area of 600. The outside border area has an area of 600. So when you multiply these together, plus 20, it's going to equal 1,200. Just like that. All right, so they're equal to each other. So let's do a little bit of math on this guy. So let's go 4x squared. Um, outside, inside, 60x. And then, hang on now. 40x plus 600 is equal to 1,200. So I'm going to have 4x squared plus 100x minus 600 is equal to 0. So, uh, again, this is just a quadratic formula. Solve it, guys, and see what you get. I'm going to leave this one up to you, so see how far you can get with it. Hopefully, you get a good answer. Uh, if you have any questions about this example, let me know, and I'll see you in class. Thanks, guys.